I think it's fair to say that there has never been a better time for movement in Apex Legends than right now. Season 7 has been phenomenal to experience as a player fascinated by movement. And with this video I wanted to pay tribute to the gifts that Season 7 has given us. That was what we got in Season 7. Even before Season 7 started, we already heard some good movement news about it. With Daniel, the developer I interviewed, confirming that Pathfinder's grapple cooldown was going to be fixed, after we had to advocate for that a bit during Season 6. And that was only a precursor. What I was not prepared for was what else would await oh, us in right. season seven. Are you ready for this? Am I ready? <laughs> uh, ready for what? <laughs> Olympus, oh you glorious beauty. Introducing with you the Trident. And as a new legend, Horizon. Oh dear. Not very light on his feet, is he? Looks like the game's a And not only did they put in vehicles, but also showed in the trailer that you can grapple them. Together with the introduction of Horizon, this looked very promising. And oh boy, were those promises kept. Horizon's passive also turned out to be a godsend for people fascinated by movement. Just the fact alone that it deliberately has an effect on air scraping is glorious to me. The acknowledgement of air scraping as a skill and rewarding it with a passive makes me way too happy. The other big component of her tactical is equally as fulfilling to experience. Never being slowed down when entering a slide and thereby being able to carry on all previous momentum you had easily makes this my favorite passive that is in the game right now. These clips also very nicely lead me into all the things we discovered about Octane this season. Driving a trident over his jump head and boosting in the correct moment made it to a rocket booster for grappling. 
In combination with loot bins, his jump pad enabled tridents to be catapulted across the map. And when placing a caustic trap on it the correct way, you were able to start grappling it to the moon. Trident jump head interactions weren't the only thing that became apparent about Octane in Season 7. Later we learned about the Octane Wall Run and Ceiling Surfing. And I know the melee direction change has been in the game for a bit longer, but I became aware of it in Season 7. Season 7 was also the season where I started to really focus on implementing tap strafing and wall bouncing into my gameplay, having explored and developed the theoretical side of them throughout season 6. Geronimo! <laughs> Please someone clip that, that was a perfect tap strafe. So in summary, Season 7 has been glorious. I feel like advanced movement is in the mind of the average Apex player the way it never has been before. And with the Season 8 patch notes showing us that Octane now has two different jump head arcs, I personally can't wait to see what the future holds for us. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.